It didn't see him at first, hidden under a dusting of snow on Grand River in Novi. But around 10 a.m., as the sun drew higher, a driver noticed the frozen body of 18-year-old Kostika Fushi. Twelve hours earlier, the U of D Mercy student and thousands of others came to the Suburban Showplace Center for a show that might be the most incredible spectacle $50 can buy. Life in Color has developed something of a cult following among high school and college students who come for its pulsing music, high-energy performers, and the promise that by the end of the night, they'll be doused in paint. So when the show came to Novi on December 21st, not even an ice storm would stop the crowd of more than 7,000 from attending. It was just pandemonium. There was people everywhere running around. It was raining. It was cold. Cab driver Dale Coven made trip after trip to the show place that night. And today, nearly eight weeks since the concert came to town, he says he's haunted by how the night ended. You see, Life in Color has proven great at two things, putting on incredible shows and filling up emergency rooms. When it came to the University of Maine, 16 needed EMS for drug and alcohol issues. In Lansing, 16 more. 30 at Western Connecticut State, 40 in Hartford, 23 at Penn State, 44 at Lehigh University. And in Springfield, Missouri, a man died after overdosing on meth. When one emergency room director learned the event was coming to his town, he told a local newspaper, we anticipated casualties. Even with that history, the event was still invited to Novi, and drugs, we're told, were hard to miss. Ecstasy or Molly, that's what a lot of people do at these events. People doing Molly or Ecstasy is probably like the, the top drugs that I see there. In Novi, concert goers told us that plenty of drugs got by security, no problem. I don't know if there was just too many people, they couldn't just do the full pat down, but it was just like two taps you were in, really. So if so, you wanted to bring in drugs, you Yeah, could. you could easily just bring them in. And when the show ended around 2 the next morning, 15 were rushed to the ER. Do you think they really wanted to make sure that nobody got in with drugs? Um, I think they don't really even care, uh, truthfully. I think they want you to have like the experience sort of almost they like they want you to have a good time and do whatever you want. The man in charge of medical care for all life and color events spoke with us by phone from Connecticut. Dr. Eric Salk said safety isn't being overlooked. I've been asked to, to help uh, make sure that we're providing the best possible medical care on site. I really can't address you know, why the concerts are very successful and, and uh, continue to be. I mean, are they successful when 15 people are, are taken to the hospital? Uh, you know, there are, these are, these numbers are really not that out of line with other mass gathering events. Yes, they are. At a typical Wings game, we're told only five to seven need emergency care, with about three times more attendees. At a concert at the Palace, officials tell us the average there is even less. How many people need to be hospitalized before you guys acknowledge that there's a real problem here? After the show was over, those not in a hospital bed still needed to find a way home. Many waited for their rides to show up, or at least tried to. Instead, they found themselves on the other side of the suburban showplace doors, shoved out into an ice storm. What I'm seeing here, I just can't believe. I can't believe that we would throw these kids outside in the rain, in the freezing rain, not let them back in. Some took respite at a nearby restaurant, but most, were told, were left to fend for themselves. Severe hypothermia wouldn't have surprised me with hundreds of kids, as many kids that were outside in the rain that I saw. And when morning came, lying in the snow, motorists found Fushi's body. He planned to attend the concert, but Novi police don't believe he ever got inside. He was turned away at the door at least twice, we've learned, possibly because of an elevated blood alcohol level of 0.19. His death is still under investigation. Somebody should be held accountable for this, because if nobody's held accountable for this, and this happens again, it might not be lucky where it's just one inebriated kid next door and, and grieving parents. It might be five or ten. Suburban Showplace President Blair Bowman refused to be interviewed for this story, but said he thoroughly researched life in color and never learned of its history of drugs or EMS runs, even though a simple Google search would have told him all about it. He says his staff didn't observe any drug use and that he personally helped arrange rides for anyone who didn't have one. But life in color, he says, will not be invited back to Novi. Quick question. I mean, have there been any lawsuits? I mean, after place after place and so many people have gone to the hospital and death? It wouldn't surprise me if there have been, and there's not been any that I'm aware of so far, but that may change. Wow. All right. Thank you, Ross.